Hey guys, Frosty again with some more Final Cut Pro X tips and tricks for you. Now a friend of mine contacted me the other day and he's like, oh I'm so frustrated with Final Cut Pro X because there's only the set amount of uh, speeds that you can use for your slow-mo and your fast-mo. And I said, oh I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, yeah, well when you, when you select the clip and you want to retime it, just down here or Apple R, you click on the little arrow and it only shows you some presets and I go no no that's not correct um, just a little quick demonstration is that all you need to do is click and drag until you reach a certain percentage that you want now there is no well that I'm aware of anyway there is no function like in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 7 where you can just select and punch in a percentage um, but you can just select and drag to the percentage or the length that you require and another quick tool is, um, he was also speaking to me about that there's no speed ramping. There actually is. Uh, it just works a little bit differently to, you know, how people are probably used to in Sony Vegas or other NLEs. What you do is just go up to this little button here, a little swirl, and then as you see, you've got your speed ramp. So you can go to 0% or from 0%. So you just select that. It'll break the clip up into four pieces. Well, not the clip itself, but the actual speed and then you can select how fast or slow you want that to go and then that's how you do speed ramping and I find that really easy to work with once you get your head around it so there's another little Final Cut Pro tip and trick for you to do with speed